Look at the circle you see on the board. If we remove a part of the boundary, this is what we get. It's called an arc. The arc's length is basically a part of the circumference of the circle. How can we calculate the length of an arc? It's a curved length and cannot be measured with a scale. Let's understand a few examples. Consider the circle divided into two equal parts. They are called semicircles. Let's assume that its radius is r. What is the length of this arc marked in green? You can say that it covers half the boundary. Let's write the length of the arc under the circle. So its length will equal half multiplied by 2 pi r. This tells you that it's a part of the circumference. Now consider a circle divided into four equal parts, like this. What will be the length of this green arc? Since the circle is divided into four equal parts, the circumference will also be divided into four equal parts. So the length of the arc will be one-fourth of the circumference. The length of this arc is half the circumference and the length of this arc is one-fourth the circumference. Now look at this circle. Consider a part of the area of the circle. What will be the length of this green arc? It's unclear. You cannot guess the length just by looking at the figure. So there has to be something that defines the length of the arc. The length of the arc is directly proportional to the angle it subtends at the centre. The first arc subtends an angle of 180 degrees at the centre. The entire circumference subtends an angle of 360 degrees at the centre. So the length of the arc is given by 180 by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. In simple words, we can say that the arc has covered 180 degrees of the total 360 degrees. This can be reduced to half multiplied by 2 pi r. You will understand better with this second example. This arc subtends an angle of 90 degrees at the centre, so its length will be 90 by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. Now what will be the length of this arc if the angle subtended by it is 30 degrees? It will be 30 by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. We can say that the angle subtended by the arc at the centre is a part of the angle covered by the entire circle which is 360 degrees. So if we have to generalise it, we can say that if the angle subtended by the arc at the centre is theta, then the length of the arc is theta divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r.